In order to know what to do in life is you have to confront yourself every morning. It's either looking in the mirror or weighing yourself. That'll tell you where to go. This morning, we're doing sip fizz. Grapefruit. You gotta pour it in fast into your bottle or it'll overflow. I've done that before. And then on top of that, you gotta do your pills for the day. Next video, I'll be going over what pills that I do take. Because I'm old. And when I run out of a few, I'm gonna get rid of them. Because I analyzed everything that I was taking. And I had to tailor it down to the most important. So before we get started, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand. That's my goal. So I'm going to try to improve on my videos and content as I go. So if you feel the urge, subscribe and leave a comment. So after researching some of the uh, Mr. Olympia finalists, I narrowed down 10 exercises to become more muscular, adapted for old age. So exercise number one, it's a big one, squats. But since I'm old, it's going to be a decline squat. On a, it's going to be a squat on a decline rack. Pushing. The calf raises at the end for us and on the cake. It'll save my knees. And it'll do two exercises in one. Next exercise is a deadlift. This has to be adjusted. To bent over lightweight, bent over rows. Today I had to make an adjustment because my uh, iPhone camera clamp broke. So I had to make do. Stick it behind the little ledge behind my steering wheel. Next exercise is the neutral pull-up. Which means you're not doing an actual chin-up or a regular pull-up. It's like a balanced grip, which is easier. It saves on your joints. For shoulders, we've got the incline dumbbell press. Dumbbells to help you balance things out. Feel like you have some control. Next is the uh, close grip bench. We've come to find out that the bench isn't the greatest exercise for your body. So I've adjusted it for the close grip. So it gives you minor chest development, but also comes into play your triceps and the back of your arms. Next exercise is a dumbbell curl, because we are men. And egotistical. And working down our body, we got the hanging leg raise. So that gets your lower abs and it's less invasive, less injury prone for an old man. And then the ninth exercise, just hanging from a bar, one to two minutes. You work your way up to one to two minutes twice a day. It's good for your shoulders. It stretches everything out. Plus it really tells you how out of shape you are. When every part of your body is screaming, say, I can't do it. And the 10th exercise I left up to you to be variable. Or I forgot one, cardio on the treadmill. And then the 10th one is variable. You know what to do. So we've got a broken clamp. And I forgot my headphones, which is a bummer. My iPod is dead. My backup plan is dead. So you got to admit in life that we've been on light load the whole time. Because we just don't feel like doing it. When you've realized it's the end. You weigh 195 and it should be 175. It's time to get down to work. Maybe set aside some of your aspirations of starting a business. We're going to light load that for a while until we can prove to ourselves that we can accomplish what we want to accomplish. You know what to do. So I found a selfie stick to hold my phone camera. So we worked out at Crunch Gym on Erie Boulevard. We started out on the treadmill for 40 minutes. And after we warmed up and started sweating, we increased the incline and the speed. We ended up with 5% incline and 3.3 speed at the end there. Lost 150 calories. Then, after 41 minutes, I moved on to weightlifting. I did the fixed machine lat pull down for 10 minutes and I increased the weight as I went along. And then I did the bent over row for 10 minutes. And then a third of the time you always pick exercises that you don't like, which usually means that body part was lacking your whole life. That was my legs. I did the quads on the uh, leg machine. As I go, I'll learn all the verbiage so you can understand what I'm talking about. So 30 minutes lifting. And it was a little bit more serious. I increased the I increased the weights as I went to make them more strenuous. So that's a total of 250 calories lost. That's a little over an ounce of body weight. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of yard work. I'll be wearing the hoodie 
because you sweat more when you got your head covered or if you wear a rubber suit like in wrestling. Uh, within a few hours of running in a wetsuit or a rubber suit, you could lose four pounds. So we're not that strict or we're not that serious because we're not uh, doing an athletic event. But we are serious about losing weight. So we know what to do. We just got to do it and confront yourself every morning and figure out what you have to do. That's called goals. You know what to do. One thing you got to remember, you never wear a hoodie when you're driving. Also, you're wasting your time getting ready to get ready when you're being specific about these things. It's a waste of time. You need to be generic. You need to make things happen. Which means basic knowledge of calories burned and how, how many pounds a week that's going to convert into is probably as serious as you want to go. Which means your whole thing is getting your whole body together, strength-wise and wind-wise. So generically, you're going to lose the same weight no matter if you're walking on the treadmill or lifting. So you want to do both. Basically, lightweight lifting and walking on a treadmill, you're going to lose about 100 calories every half hour. So I'm assuming that if you up your level with walking, hiking, or running, you're going to be upping your level with lifting weights. So it's all generically the same, losing the same poundage as you go. You're just going to be better off balancing out everything doing like a full body thing and making sure your endurance is up by getting on that treadmill hiking or uh, stairmaster or jogging which is something i have to work up to gotta remember life is a percentage game if you're budgeting your money you always budget 20 percent higher whether you're calculating for business or personal life now i'll rest my case you pick a gym anything you do in life you want to make sure it's worth it so you calculate what it's going to cost you, and if it goes up 20%, is it still worth having that thing? So when I was picking gyms, I picked one that I really, 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 really liked. Because I knew eventually the cost was going to go up. But then they get creative. You know? They say, well, we had to do this, but no, I'm spending more money. They try to have it go over your head. And then there's no arguing about it, because they already made up the rule. So Crunch Gym, I started out $9.99 a month. But it was actually fourteen ninety nine a month, but they had to give it to me because all their advertising said nine ninety nine, and they did have a program for nine ninety nine. So I bought that. So if you figure that out, plus they charge you a sixty dollar fee every year for maintenance, that comes out to about one hundred eighty dollars a month or a year. But then they decided to charge instead of you know I guess people got upset with a sixty dollar charge every year, so they mix it in with the monthly fee, which turned out to be seventeen ninety nine a month. Which basically upgraded all the people that were paying fourteen ninety nine, uh, upgraded the people that were paying nine ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine automatically. <clears throat> so if you figure that out, it would be two uh, two hundred fifteen dollars a year instead of one hundred eighty, and that's twenty percent higher. And when you're trying to make the wife happy, usually when you're paying more, it makes life more easy, and sometimes the product is a lot better. Like today, to make the wife happy, you bought Tide Pods. And if you divide it out, ease of operation and maybe a little bit better product, it's 20% higher. So when you're budgeting your money, budget for 20 extra percent. Whether you're going out to eat or doing whatever. But don't get taken for granted. You know what to do. Walking by the dog field. Wife and I talked that the field needs to be Chopped down a little lower than the regular lawn because it grows so fast. It's all that fertilizer. So in your process of improving yourself, you got to improve your relationship. Because if I was honest with, with myself, I'd have to say, I'm not trying as hard anymore. So I went out and bought something that I needed and I'm doing an activity that needs to be done. The dog pasture and weed whacking the whole lawn. That's what's going to happen right now. One thing you have to remember, lawn work takes on a whole new meaning when you get married. Or if you're trying to get in shape. It's serious business. Think about weed whacking, you don't want the string operated weed whacker because you're constantly reloading it because the string keeps breaking. 
You want to fire the push and pull, push, push and load, three blade head. So you get these little plastic blades that are a little bit tougher than the line themselves and they last a lot longer without breaking. All right, it's noon. It's the last of my working out unless I work out in the basement this evening, which is possible. So 250 calories lost working out this morning, about 350 calories, cutting some pipe down, doing some lawn work. I did an hour and three fourths on the lawn. That came up to about 350 calories. So a total of 600 calories burned so far. That's not quite three ounces of fat burned off my body. And the last of the day is total beets powder mixed in water. It's a pomegranate berry. It's one of the most insane powders that I've researched so far. Helps with blood pressure, blood flow, energy, and simple. Oh yeah, it tastes amazing. The more you put in, the better it tastes. Which is rare, like when you're doing reds and greens. Not very good. So I did uh, the pipe cutting in the yard work with the hood up. So I might even lost an even three ounces of fat. So that's almost a quarter pound lost. So when you're doing uh, work around the house, you, d you do it considering losing weight. Which means like painting the house, shoveling snow. So with cutting pipe, I used my forearms and my calves to complete that job. Then I did uh, weed whacking, which is forearms, and raking, forearms. And a little bit of whole body, getting down and pulling the <coughs> northwest corner of the house, weeded down to nothing. Have a good day. Find God. <laughs>